How are you? I'm Kimberlyn with Life's Work Yoga. This is story time. And story time is really oftentimes spurred by the stories of our lives. The stories of my life, yes, but also the stories that I hear from you. So I hope that you'll reach out when you have one of those aha moments, those stories that clarify your values or your choices, your way of living in this world. Today I want to share with you just briefly, because honestly, it's been a long day already. Let me tell you why. I'm practicing kind of a impromptu variation of self-care. One of the challenges that has shown up in my life since COVID is kind of this stretching out of my days that I start early in the morning and I have evening or afternoon after work practices, privates and classes. And in the middle, I've been basically doing a lot of editing, a lot of video capturing and editing and posting and trying to meet you where you're at. Now, a lot of that is just the matter that everything's been so distant. So I've done some extra work to try and stay connected. That is, after all, one of my guiding principles, the idea of connection. Now, this morning marks kind of a fabulous milestone. I moved into this space almost a year ago in the middle of the COVID crisis and shutdown. But at that time, we couldn't replace the windows, meaning the landlord, the upstairs windows were broken on the loft of this 1900 year home. So we postponed the installation of the new windows, waiting for the supply chain to come back into ease, right? Well, then the windows were available, but the installer wasn't. And on top of that, air conditioning units this time last year were not available either. The story is that really it's too hot upstairs to use the space. And so I've been working downstairs and having this unaccessible space. So all things have come together today that the contractors to install the windows had the windows ready to install. And now I am waiting, yes, still waiting on the window units for air conditioning, but huge steps today. However, in order to make this happen, I was here at 6.30 this morning, which means I want to take a longer pause in the middle of my day so as to balance the kind of bookends which are my morning work and my evening work. This is a decision that is based on my priority for self-care because often what I do is I just fill up this middle time with administrative busy work sitting here at the desk doing editing, doing writing, doing the things that need to be done as a small business solopreneur. Not today. After a long weekend, I expected to be fully rejuvenated. But the truth is, hearing about the installation late last night, about 9.30 last night, threw off my rhythm, which showed up by preventing me from relaxing into sleep, even though I went to bed on time. After a good day that included exercise and play and good food, it wasn't enough to offset kind of that, that anxiety that shows up when something is out of rhythm, out of sync. In other words, I had to be here earlier to meet people that I don't know to come into my space and install new windows. Now, they were lovely. The contractors were friendly and polite and cleanliness galore, bringing in their own vacuums, wiping down dust, really a wonderful way to have contractors do labor in my space. But all of that energy shift is still now unraveling. So what does that mean for today? Well, it's kind of hot. In fact, there's a heat warning. So my day will be less outside adventure and more perhaps inside reflection and contemplation. I have a book here that I've been reading, In Love with the World, by uh, Yongji Mingyur Rinpoche. So I think that's going to be on my, my to-do list. But the truth is, I'm probably also going to sneak in a little nap. 
So for those of you who are scheduled for my evening practice, be forewarned that when I get a nap in the middle of the day, I often show up with a little more vibrancy for my evening practices. Now, you're in luck because this evening's practice at 5.30 is a yoga therapy or a thera yoga practice. So we won't be working anything too challenging, but we are going to play on this idea of balance and how do we cultivate balance, especially on those moments where we're already out of plan, out of sync. In other words, how can we get so comfortable with this fluid riding of the wave of energy that we can interject, impromptu, we can make a choice on the fly about how to honor the priority of self-care. So for me, that means I'm going to close down the studio for the afternoon and head home for a nap and a little bit of reading. What challenges are showing up for you today? What victories have helped you affirm that you're on the path? If we don't show up, we don't even know whether or not the path is responding to our input and vice versa. Self-care incorporates these mindfulness practices that carry us through when our attention is directed elsewhere and are easily accessible and available for when we can take even just a single pause to breathe. So as I close up this t today's story time, take a breath. Take a breath and consider how can you practice authentic living based on the principle of self-care. And I hope to hear your stories about how your authenticity, your compassion shows up for yourself and for those with whom you share this path. And until then, be well. May you breathe deeply and move freely, labor lovingly, and live vibrantly. Namaste.